Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neelam Ahuja and you can also find me on Instagram at neelam.ahuja. Today I want to take a few minutes to review the Row Jerry sandals with you, um, or as I occasionally refer to them as uh, geriatric sandals. I, they remind me very much of a pair of sandals I had when I was a kid. Uh, my mom, and they were modeled after like the adult geriatric or orthopedic uh, styled shoes and uh, trying to ensure the kids have a proper arch as, as their feet are growing and they put them in these kinds of sandals. Um, so that it's a, but it's like a modern uh, day version of an orthopedic shoe. I love them. <clears throat> Let's rewind though back to August when I was, uh, when I first saw them in images, I liked them. Then I went to New York in last August in the summer, uh, tail end of the summer, and I tried them on, I think at Bergdorf's and they only had them in the leather version. I put them on my feet and right away I did not like them. I didn't feel like they suited my foot and I wasn't really sure what it was specifically about them I didn't like. I just, maybe it was the denim, the fact that I was wearing denim and they were like a light blue denim and I was wearing the black leather Jerry sandals and it just, it didn't vibe with my style. And I kind of wrote them off and moved them aside and then of course I saw the suede version and thought, hmm. Those could be good, but perhaps I was jaded and I didn't bother reordering for that reason because I thought, well, I'd already tried them in the leather and I didn't love them, so maybe I won't. But anyways, they just, they stuck with me for, for quite a long time and I really wanted to try them on. And I knew eventually I would. And then someone I adore on Instagram then posted herself in them and I panicked because I know what happens after that happens. Uh, then there's a rush on the product and I'm like, darn it, I was hoping to wait a little longer to purchase them, but now I can't and I'm glad I didn't wait. Um, let's talk about what they are specifically. They are a uh, flat, heavy, um, just for reference, this is very much like the Ginza sandal. In fact, the base is the exact same, the suede thong sandals, the Ginzas, meet Jerry, except without that um, incredibly painful toe piece. So this might be your alternate if you didn't or couldn't wear them, the same way I'm having a tough time with mine. Uh, this is the suede Jerry sandal. Like I mentioned, it comes in all leather as well. And the leather version is also similar to the leather Ginza. This one has um, a strap at the front and an ankle strap. Both are adjustable, suede upper, cushioned sole, no tread on the bottom, um, and it's rigid. So if you're familiar with the row shoes, then you know what this is all about. As you're walking, the shoe sort of holds its shape. It doesn't really move easily with you. Um, it's not as heavy as the zipped boot, but it's not as light as a regular shoe. Um, it's around 1,080 US dollars. Uh, in the suede, it is very difficult to come by in smaller sizes. The Row Boutiques did get a replenishment. Uh, if you're really interested, call the New York store or LA. I know they have stock. And I do know that Sourceware is also another place you can try and get your size. Um, other than that, you're gonna have to wait for either a replenishment or somebody who's giving theirs up. Though, I have to say, I don't know why they would, which takes us to the comfort. Uh, for me personally, I think I've mentioned this before, and I won't spend too long talking about this because it probably won't apply to you, but I have neuromas in my feet from days spent in very high heels. I've killed the nerves in my feet. And this style, where there's a strap at the front that compresses the nerves, and it's a flat shoe that doesn't give, doesn't always suit my foot. I love these shoes so much, but I my left foot isn't tolerating them without a surgery. That is not to say that anybody else with a normal foot isn't going to absolutely love these shoes because actually this is a perfect shoe. It is really comfortable. It, it there's no blistering, no chafing. Um, it's you know got a really good thick sole, so your the bottom of your foot is very protected. You're going to love this shoe. And sizing wise, please stick to your true size. I wouldn't mess around with sizing with a shoe like this. Ideally, you want your foot to sit to the end of the leather piece so that you see the suede. If you go down a size, your foot is gonna push in towards the suede part and that's not as attractive, that's not the look. And also you're gonna have to 
um, probably stretch out the strap. I, I would say stick to your true size. And again, if you went up, it might be a bit too loose. There is uh, a decent amount of adjustment on both straps, the ankle and the front toe strap. So you shouldn't have an issue and you shouldn't, there's not really room to put another hole in. So if you have a very, very narrow foot, uh, you're, I don't think that you can go any further, but you could uh, probably make it a little bigger if you needed to. Um, styling. Easy to style these. Like I said, I tried them on with the denim and didn't like it, but I think that was a function of the color of the denim I was wearing. I think I, I would definitely style this outfit with these shoes. It's very, like, because I would wear this with a pair of Birkenstocks. I would also um, wear it very elegantly with a nice, I know it, I would, you wouldn't think it, but it, would, it goes nicely with dresses. It's because of the suede. It just, any way you would think to style the Ginza, which you can also style very uh, formally, you could do with the Jerry Sandal. If you were one of those people that hesitated on the Ginza because you've heard about the pain of the toe piece, this is such a good alternative to that. And, um, or if you have the Ginza and you can't make them work, um, this is just your perfect shoe. And unfortunately, they're just out of sizes right now. I'm hoping that this becomes part of their core collection and they bring back uh, a variety of sizes because I know a lot of people are looking and um, maybe even in new colors because I've seen them, of course, in the black. In the all leather, they come in a, in a few different colors, like there's a brown and then the black. And I've also seen them in a fabric version, like a green fabric version. And I think that's probably pretty comfortable as well. That is what I think you need to know about the Jerry Atrick sandals. And um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will try and get back to you. Otherwise, I'll see you back on Instagram or back here for another review. That is your Jerry sandal review.